I was born in Mexico, so very Hispanic, right? <laughs> I'm Chef Roberto Islas. Welcome to Mezcal Kitchen, Jersey City. Oh, I came when I was 14 years old. Been living here, I mean, I'm 39, so I've been here 25 years. The area where I was in Marion section, it was, it was all Hispanic. Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans, Ecuadorians. I opened my first restaurant when I was, I believe I was like 22 years old. And I was down in, again, Marion section. It was a small shop that, that we bought. I wasn't that successful. You think you know everything about restaurants, but in reality, you know how to cook at home. I closed that place, went back to work, old restaurant called Michael Anthony's. Learned from the dishwasher station all the way to become a cook there. Once I did that, I went and tried to reopen something else. I opened a pizzeria right across the street from Dickinson High School. I was doing actually pretty good there, but not enough to like leave out of it. So, closed down that one then went to work for this David Chang prodigy. I started working for him. Again, I went through the whole thing from a dishwasher, salad guy, to I become like a sous chef of the place. I was there for a while until uh, I decided that I need to move on because he was actually the chef there. I was just the sous chef and it, it was never gonna change because he owned the, the place. So I decided that I was gonna open my own restaurant. So I opened my first location in Bayonne because Jersey City was too expensive for me. Then two years later, we opened Jersey City. My mom always influenced on, on the way that I love the kitchen because it was one thing when she didn't have any job or whatever, she used to cook anything and sell it, you know? So that's what I, that's what, what I learned, uh, you know, food can be a good business and you don't necessarily have to work for anyone. You could do it yourself and just, you know, offer it to people. And people like it and, and they, after, after that, they just come to you. You don't have to go anywhere. So most of the dishes that I have in the menu, I literally learned from my mom since I was very little. Since I was probably like seven, eight years old, I always loved to be around my mom, seeing how she will do things. And it got to the point where, she has to go to work, and she, instead of her telling my sisters to cook the meal, I was the one who used to cook it because I always loved being in the kitchen. From the beginning, I have very good help of Paola. She takes she takes care of the she takes care of all the budgets and all the things. She's the one I could be up here, and she'll be like, "No, no, 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 come down! Like you're you're right here, right?" I might not have partners, but I have someone that really helps me to bring this all together. We have a saying in, 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 in Spanish, right? El que no arriesga no gana. To me, that's very important. Like, I'm always risking no matter what. I'm always going to risk and I'm going to go for, you know, like, the moon is only right there. So I'm always going to risk everything to try to be better, to try to do better. And if one day I fail, you know what, I have two hands, I have two legs, I can start all over again. That's, that's how I see it.